Alright, Matt Debate Dude here with another week of Gear Talks, where I believe all gear is a story, so let's get to it. So this is my first week back in the second semester of my freshman year in college. And so today I'm uploading something a little different to still get the episode of Gear Talks out today that I have promised every week, but I did not have enough time to shoot a video for a standard instrument, but that's okay because next week I will have enough time to do so. This week was just kind of hectic with moving and stuff because college kid life, you know, <laughs> already trying to get used to the Alex online chemistry system that's lovely but so today we will be taking a look at the best guitar ever you see I actually own one more guitar or bass or ukulele than I expected I own this here dollar store guitar so let's get into the specs it's made of plastic you see like plastic oh that's a horrible horrible neck bowing I'm gonna have to take it in for a setup. So it's got, you know, plastic body, you know. Probably about three quarters of an inch thick. Not bad for an acoustic guitar. It's got the sound hole in the center. It's got a standard plastic bridge. It's got these plastic tuners, you know. A little funky of a system, too. They're not the standard. Uh, you know, traditional sounders. They're kind of like the, if I remember correctly, the Gibson Firebird tuners, where they're oddly top loaded, except for the reverses. The Gibson ones, you'd be winding on the back. These ones, you're winding on the top. And so, yeah, it's apparently a natural wood top. Even though I do not believe there is any wood, you know used on this so let's get to the story so this guitar here first of all so I believe it's this exact model too has made its rounds because of a Rob Scallon video that was uploaded like I like to say three years ago so that's pretty cool it's kind of a meme and it's kind of cool because you can actually kind of make music with this but so this came to be because of a time I hung with my friends I uh yeah, we all ended up at the dollar store before we like hung out and had a movie night for the night. And we all bought, so we were like, yo, we're going to start another band. And so we all bought instruments from the dollar store. So someone, I think a, one person bought a recorder. Someone bought clapping hands. I mean, much similar to these for the drums. I hate that I have those on hand. Um, stop closing the doors back there. Um, someone bought... I don't know, we all just bought various the toys that were supposed to be instruments. And I believe me and Micah ended up choosing guitars. If I can find one of the lovely videos from my Snapchat, I will insert it right here. friends with these people! Well, to keep it the format, tone demos. Alright, so this is kind of an acoustic guitar, so we aren't going to say like pickups, we're just gonna... I'm gonna play smoke in the water. All 
are the Wonderwall lyrics? I don't know Wonderwall's lyrics. Uh, give me a second. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way about it. Feels the way I do about you now. Uh, I'm just gonna play some Van Halen. Somebody once told me. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I'm kind of tired. It's currently almost 2 in the morning after I cranked out some homework. But that's going to have to do it for this week's episode of Gear Talks, where I believe all gear is a story, so I ask you, what's yours? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.